today for the Bitcoin price. And yes, guys, wow, wow, wow. I, I don't even know how to title this video. What I am going to show you today is something which happened for Bitcoin, not which happened four years ago, whatever. It never happened for Bitcoin. What happened today never happened for Bitcoin. And the implications of that are going to be severe, much more severe than any of us is thinking right now. I want to show it to you. It's very easy to understand, yet it's very important to understand not only what is happening right now, but also what is going to happen right now in the immediate future. Dear ladies and gentlemen, yes, I need a barber so importantly, and I'm gonna go just after the video. You're probably asking yourself, why are you recording this video from your walk-in closet? Well, it is because I just got ready and I really have to strap and go to the barber, but like on my way walking, I was opening my phone and I saw this indicator. I was like going on the weekly, checking again, going on the daily, checking again, and what the heck? This is crazy. And I'm asking myself, is this really happening? Let me go straight into it. Dear ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, if you not like it yet, like it later. But if you like it already, like this video, share, comment down below. What I am going to show you today is going to completely blow your mind. This is my promise. First of all, I want to stay here on the daily, but I'm going to go on the weekly and I will show you this one indicator, which every one of you knows it. However, none of you is expecting this one to flash what it is flashing right now because we all forgot about looking at it. Wait a second. First of all, let's talk about what's happening here. Well, of course, there are many different ways how to draw it. Of course, we got rejected here by the resistance. This is not the most bullish thing. Bitcoin really has to break it rather sooner than later. Yes, Bitcoin is forming this falling wedge. This is rather bullish than bearish, but we still have this resistance here above. However, Bitcoin is coiling up and the decision has to come very soon. If we are breaking higher, definitely another retest of 31.5 and then eventually breaking higher to my 44,000 US dollar price level. If we are breaking lower, I think what I mentioned in the last video, and this is not even what I want to talk about in this video, just want to quickly refresh your memory. If we are breaking lower, I think the golden pocket is in 27,500, which is of course once again, coinciding with the price target of this falling wedge, if we were to break down, one out of three falling wedges are breaking down, two out of three falling wedges are breaking up. But, dear ladies and gentlemen, let me quickly go back. This is not what I am talking about today. I want to talk about this one indicator. And guys, it blew my mind. Let me go into it. Let me switch over to the weekly because this, whoo, this is crazy. So, let me go to the weekly. Oops, sorry, that's the three daily. You could use any time frame, but the weekly really shows us because you know the deal, the higher the time frame, the more significance we are having behind it. And here I'm on, it's random, I'm on the KuCoin chart. I could take the, the index chart or anything. What I am talking about today is the Bollinger Bands width. And what I want to tell you is that this indicator, just if you don't know it, I think everyone who is trading for more than six months knows this one. It's indicating how volatile is Bitcoin. So whenever you're usually having here bands, right? I'm taking them out just to make it a little bit easier. And here you are having the calculation how wide they are part of each other. The wider they are, the higher the value and the more volatile Bitcoin is. The more closer they are, the, so, for example, when Bitcoin is going sideways for an extended period of time, then the volatility is low, the Bollinger Bands are close, and we are having a low Bollinger Bands width, which is here, the BBW, not BBC, not BBJ, no BBW. And whenever this is very high, we know, well, we are coming to the end of a bear market or to the end of a bull market, right? Whenever it's low, I can tell you, this is every single time the end of a bear market. And why? Let me quickly go back and explain you. It is for the simple reason that 
Bull markets are let never in low volatility, not in crypto. We always have this blow off top, boom, we break to the downside. And whenever the volatility is low, this only occurs usually in accumulation phases. This, uh, this happens when Bitcoin is going sideways. And the thing is, previously, we had somewhere the threshold of when we know, okay, this is the end. This is the end of the bear market accumulation. This is the beginning of the bull market. Previously, we had this value somewhere around like 0.35 or something, right? So whenever, let me actually pull this one up here. Whenever Bitcoin was reaching this level, this was in 2019. It was later on in the beginning of 2021, in the beginning of the bull. Like every time this happened, we had afterwards a volatility shot towards the upside every single time. Right now, we broke it. Not only that, we reached the lowest level in the history of Bitcoin. Let me repeat that, dear ladies and gentlemen. Let me actually quickly go here back to the face mode. Bitcoin has never ever been as little volatile as it is right now, as it is today. We've never been going sideways for so long. We've never been that stable. And you might say, wow, breaking news, Bitcoin is as boring as it has never been before. I can tell you something. One rule of trading is the more sideways, especially in Bitcoin, the more sideways Bitcoin goes, the lower the volatility, the more volatile the move is going to be afterwards. Now we are seeing the lowest volatility in the history of Bitcoin. That means we are most likely going to see one of the most volatile moves we have ever seen for Bitcoin as well. Not percentage wise, but in absolute terms, for sure. This is what I'm expecting for Bitcoin right now. This is why I am myself still in my trade on Bitcoin, racking in still more than a million US dollars in a profit. The Ethereum trade racking in still 77,000 US dollars in a profit. All in all, still 1.1 million dollars almost in a profit on this trade. By the way, if you want to be joining me on that trade, down below, I not only have a 30,000 uh, bon bonus link. When you click it, you get up to 30,000 US dollars in free bonuses a thousand US dollar free long position. No, you can join the MM Crypto squad with clicking the link, clicking join the squad and you are part of our squad and you are part of an 8 million US dollar prize pool for free down below. And of course, I want to know from you, what are you thinking about that? I mean, dear ladies and gentlemen, this is not something like first time in four years. What we are talking about here right now is first time ever. First time ever. The last time Bitcoin was reaching a level just somewhere close to it was right here, just before we went 50%, 100% higher from 15,000 all the way up to 30,000 US dollars. Dear ladies and gentlemen, let me know down below what you think about that. I think this is mind blowing. I think this is crazy. Let me know. I would love to see your opinion down below. Like and comment as well. Thank you so much. And we are going to see each other very soon. At the next one of MM Crypto. And as always, guys, as always, bye. Bye.